is up guys this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 3 again and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the Reset Action Remix 25th March 2019 build and this is based on the Android Pie and let me show you the settings panel first but before let me just disable this live display and let me go into the about phone and here you will see that the Android version is 9 of course and we have the Reset Action Remix logo on top and this just changes while like with the accent colors you are using and here you can see the build number 25th March 2019 7.0.1 is the version and the security patch is of March 5th 2019 Ice Cream a kernel and here is the build date let me just go back and here we do have this kind of system updater over here and you can check and install the new updates I guess from here let me just go into the sound settings and show you guys some things that we do have the me sound enhancer and from here you can choose the like audio direct you can change it to youth edition or whatever you want and the sound output via the headphone jack over here in this room is just amazing and it is pretty great but we have some problems regarding sounds I, i'll tell you later on let me just go into the display settings here from here you can choose the styles and stuff you can choose the light dark or whatever theme you want to use and you can even change the accent colors too from here as you can see and as it's restriction remix we do have bunch of customizations here so you can choose the accent colors like cyan blue purple pink etc or even red and you can change the dark mode to default or totally black and let me just go back and from here you can see the rotation settings and we have the 180 degree rotation too so if you want to use that you can use that double tap to sleep is there and double tap to wake is there too so if you want to use the double tap to wake feature you can use that from here and we have some fonts over here although these kind of fonts are like there are not much options like havoc os this is pretty limited fonts option but we do have the google sans and stuff i'm using the google sans font by the way and all the customizations over here are present inside the restriction tools and i am using this rom by flashing micro g apps and everything just works flawlessly the stock launcher over here is the trebuchet launcher you have this like cyanogen camera over here or the snapdragon camera as you can see it works it takes basic normal pictures but you can install google camera if you want to here is a card if you want to install google camera on your redmi note 3 and the problems well this rom does have some problems first of all i'll talk about the problem which i have been facing on the redmi note 3 in all the pi roms even it's present on the havoc os that's the black screen bug or you can't just enter pin after reboot if you enter the pin from the lock screen it will show you the black kind of screen and it will reload the lock screen and you have to enter the pin again so if you are flashing any kind of pi rom on the redmi note 3 right now i will definitely suggest you to just go to the settings then just find the customizations panel then go to the lock screen whatever rom you are using then from there just enable this fingerprint unlock or force fingerprint unlock so after you do this you can like enter your fingerprint whenever you reboot you don't need to enter the pin so you won't face that bug and even that bug is present on the like the pixel experience rom yes i did flash the pixel experience rom but it was totally not usable because after i rebooted the phone i could not simply unlock the device since the pixel experience rom does not even have that feature the force fingerprint unlock so i was stuck in the lock screen so over here that's not the case i can just unlock the phone like with fingerprint scanner even after reboot so i don't need to worry i'm just saying now the second bug well as you can see i have connected my me earphones the bluetooth earphones over here and let me just show you the bluetooth earphone settings so as you can see it's connected me earphones basic and if I go into the settings here, as you can see, the phone calls are enabled. Let me just place a call and show you what's the problem. So here I will dial a number and you will see what happens. So from here, as you can see, the default sound over here is phone. And even if I change, like try to change it to Bluetooth, it does not simply change. So I can't simply place the call via Bluetooth. Yes, the speaker works the, with the earpiece, it works but with bluetooth it simply does not work but we do have the recording call and video call option and faulty calls work super fine in this rom but this calling via a bluetooth device simply does not work over here in this rom this bug is not present in havoc os and one more bug that i have been facing is that like it's not a bug it's a glitch if you go into the widgets and if you just scroll like this and if you just pull like this as you can see it just pulls up the quick settings panel i don't know why it happens like Whenever I do this, I want to scroll it from here 
so as you can see it just pulling down the notification panel and if i have to scroll it down i have to pull it up then like pull it down so right now it works as you can see if you do it from here it works but if you do it from here it won't work so this is kind of a glitch i would say now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the ram management since the hover quest does not have great ram management this might be a good option so let me just open some apps and show you guys So as you can see it does do the android pie kind of animation looks pretty amazing the animations are like super smooth no issues whatsoever but chrome has stopped like removed from memory but the file explorer is there facebook is there in memory twitter is there in memory play store is there in memory youtube is there also in memory let's see instagram yes instagram is also there in memory so the memory management over here is pretty great as you can see right now the chrome is still in memory let's open instagram youtube play store twitter so the ram management as you can see this is a 3gb ram variant of the redmi note 3 still the ram management over here is pretty great so in the resurrection remix like you get better ram management than the have a quest pretty much but the customizations are not as much as you want to expect from like coming from Havoc OS. If you go to, into the launcher settings over here, this is the trebuchet launcher again. This does have quite a few like features kind of like if you swipe from the left, you get the Google Now cards. You can pull down the notification panel by just swiping anywhere on the home screen. But there is no double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen. If you want to use double tap to sleep, you got to double tap on the status bar. That's when it does work. And this one does not have the full screen edge gestures. Yes, it does have the edge gestures, the OnePlus kind of gestures, but no full screen edge gestures. Let me just show you, I think it's a navigation. Let's go to gesture. So here, as you can see, we have the navigation gesture. So you have to do this kind of, but it's not like this kind of full screen edge gesture. So that thing is present in Havoc OS over here. It's not present. Now talking about Google Pay, well, Google Pay is not working by default, but you can fix it by going into the all app settings, then just find the Google Play services, then go to the Google Play services apps info, then from there, disable the phone and SMS app permission, then you can set up your Google Pay and it should work fine. Now, other than that, PUBG is working fine. You can play on the smooth and like high settings, I guess. The gaming performance is good, not bad. Here is the Android score over here. And gaming performance is kind of pretty similar over here, like when compared to Havoc OS. Now talking about the battery life, I'm getting pretty average battery life, but do expect this ROM to give you around four hours of screen on time with like normal usage. But with this ROM, what I have noticed while playing PUBG, the phone does not get as much heated up as it was getting heated up with the Havoc OS. So that is one point that you want to note maybe so that is pretty much it guys i don't know if i'm missing some point yes it has all the customizations like the brightness sliding option from this status bar and you can just lock the screen and hold the power button to like toggle the torch as you can see it's toggled right now so you can do this stuff and here is the fingerprint scanner speed again yes the face unlock is there and it does work super fine you don't need to worry and the like fingerprint scanner unlocking speed of the screen is faster than Havoc OS that I can pretty much confirm. Well, it did not unlock this time. All right, it did. So that is pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. Share this video out with your friends if this one helped you. This is Tito from KD and Take signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.